Welcome back to my daily grind Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day And every night, no time to lose One day, one step in the right direction I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you If I can do it, you can do it too Welcome back to the vlog It is Sunday, another day, another chance to push hard And the topic for this one is 3S versus 4S versus 7S so let's get it. By the way, all the DIY projects right here. Watch them all up before we get started. Love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and work living to the max. So let me try to get back with a sweet, sweet video. In the last one, I already reviewed all the parts. You can check it out right here, by the way. And now let's talk about the architecture, part one, basically. How many of them in series is best? And the answer is 7S, absolutely 7S. But let's talk about 3S and 4S a bit more. So. My dad started his massive power wall project with a 4S configuration, if I remember this correctly. 12 volts, of course. And neither 3S or 4S are fitted for a 12 volt configuration. It's just, it just sucks in both ways, basically. A 3S will be harder on the cells. They will get discharged more. They will get discharged lower. When it gets to 4S, this is way more, well, it's softer on the batteries. They won't get discharged as far as low. And what I read is that 3S will give you maybe like ballpark 1000 cycles and 4S for a 12 volt configuration will give you 3X, 4X, maybe even 5X of the cycles. 7S, 24 volts. There is no 6S versus 7S versus 8S. 7S is just, it is perfect. But there is a drawback because 24 volt sign inverters, for example, they are more costly. And uh, yeah, that is, yeah, I don't like that. But other than that, it's just, it's just a way to go. Therefore, also my dad switched to 7S and this is of course, his system is of of course my role model like my inspiration what i'm doing here is basically trying to copy his approach as good as i can to learn and to build a massive portable power bank but yeah 7s is just a way to go it will give you 24 volts even for a diy projects i would say well for somewhat bigger ones i guess like if you have 20 cells or something like that maybe like 3s and 4s would be better but for bigger ones 7s for sure that's why i have 21 slots in here and the architecture will be 5p in these little packs right here and then 3p three parallel of these this will give me 15 parallel and then 7s by now i only have a 12 volt sign inverter and i thought about maybe using step down converters but yeah this is another topic for another video in the next one i will explain my battery choice and also tell you you know the secret what this where i got this from because these are awesome and really cheap batteries it is amazing so yeah i guess i will see you in the next one by the way link right here check it out because that's it for this one smash that like button the way i'm going to smash 3s and 4s for good go with the 7s and you should too if you're you know going somewhat big bang the bell like clap, clap. If you never missed diy projects check the recent news on chrisvival.com yeah that's it for today i will see you tomorrow